<laughs> but the bear's den is my father's home. Oh, I... <laughs> That's very useful. <laughs> the third table? Uh, usually you refer to table as guests, um, but we don't have... Um, is there anything else that stands out? Now? We don't have anything in my house that sets up for being like guest third table. Halleck. Third uh, table. Hold on, hold on, Stalbor. Excuse me. Um. Oh fuck. Wait a second. Wait Great a second. second friend, three Stalbor. guests. That means three times has uh, has invitation been extended. My father married three times. Um, wow. Yeah, and all three of his wives have have perished sadly. And the third one was my mother. Wow. Is the third table referring to my mother? You would not want this gentleman to be referring to your mother, Alex. <laughs> I'm dealing with his wife, his his fiance right now. It's a these are plots. Stop, or these are plots. What <laughs> plot has to do with my mother? I think we solved that one already. Deception check. <laughs> That's not even deception. That's like Stalbor kind of like thinking to himself, but sure. I'll do it. I don't know. What the fuck is happening? That's pretty good. Oh, man. Look, when I said that I'd go see my friend, I would, it wasn't, didn't entirely know that he was 10. Uh, yeah. I, told, I told you he was a young, a young man, yes, in some people's so opinions, a boy. It's still style balls would yeah. do it. Yeah. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> oh, you solved that one. Okay. So luckily that one doesn't have to do with my mother. Because oh. this other one kind of really scares me. Um, my mother was a duchess before she became the queen. Mm. Oh. oh, no. Oh. oh. I don't think oh. we know who the duchess is. That's. We could be your mother. But this says her son's not her own, and I was my mother's only son. Oh, Stalbor, a board man. No, oh, he's in, he's like he's, he's just there. What is? Who is this? Well, that's a piece of paper, Alex. No, whose notes are box. these, Stalbor? You said this was. Somebody's things, and you don't want me to be on his list. Who is this? No, no, no. I can't tell you that. That's secret. <laughs> God damn it, Sawbor. <laughs> you brought this kid in. <laughs> the lamps? If you're going to say that Stalbor made a friend in the downtime, how did you not <laughs> think this would happen? They have other means through the lamps? Do they mean, like, the lamps? Like the Wait, Dark Lanterns? What? 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 I don't know. Um... It's a Dark Lantern. That seems... I mean, that doesn't make any dang sense. Starboard, this is... <laughs> well, battered wall that never fails, no matter how gray the day is. I mean, that's sure. It's gray wall. It's mountain range. Uh, battered wall that never fails. Um... Um, that could be referring to, uh, the keep that my father, he keeps telling them to give up that keep and they won't do it because the house beneath are stupid and they're breaking the law and uh, they're not supposed to be there, but they're still there because they're stupid. Um, well, um, Jesus Christ. well, I know several people from house beneath. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask my dad about this. <laughs> he like takes the paper, oh, holds it, and like puts it in like a pocket. You can do that, but I would say you don't. Like you, like how I said you don't tell your father that you are talking often with an elvish man whose face looks like it's coming off. Remember that the secrets are very valuable as long as you don't break the law, Alex. Yeah, but I don't know. Um... This relationship is getting more creepy. If your father's in danger, <laughs> I will take it upon myself to destroy the danger, Alex. Don't worry about it. This can't just be me, though, because it's super creepy. Oh, it's so creepy. <laughs> Sorry, I usually don't don't read chat out loud, but this one's brilliant. Stalbor yeah. putting that grave digging skill to use by digging himself into a hole. Thank you, Midori. <laughs> so you just gotta dig yourself into the hole. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. All right. So, anyways. Oh.
Um, so we have to take this kid with us now, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> he's gonna die if we leave him here. Yeah, he's, so he's uh, Stamble would be like, Stamble would come back to them um, after like saying goodbyes and being like, next time, uh, super leg, blah blah blah. Yeah, uh, after I speak to my father, if I find out anything, I'll, I'll make sure I send the information your way, Stallboy. Thumbs up. It's maybe I feel like he's been taught what thumbs up means in like Cuban parlance because he's <laughs> using it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I need to go back to them, and, uh... Yeah. Well... Apparently, the grey wool you talked about <clears throat> is an illegal occupation by House Denis? What? That's the only thing the I The grey wool I was talking about is a city in Droam, which is Some ruled by monsters. Keep... To keep um... in the mountain range, illegal occupation? Why do people illegally occupy things? Because there's something Wait, of value. Scott, is this related to the court edicts at all? Like, is it just that they're owning this property and they're not supposed to? What are you referring to? Oh, the court edicts? The houses aren't supposed to own property? Oh, they're, they're not supposed to own property? It might be referring yeah. to that, but you don't know that. It might be referring to that. But they, I, out of game, up. they might not know that, but in game, you don't know that. What the, hell, what the hell is he talking about, though? Does anyone know, like, what... What did, I, did you say what the range and keep it was? I, I William? Really catch it. Roll yeah. me a history check with advantage, because it's your house. History check with advantage. Mm -hmm. Aaron, you I'll can roll me, because you know about rumors and whatnot. You can also roll me a history check with advantage. Oh, no, or is that an no, Odette thing? I'm... That was Odette thing. So, sorry, you just roll me a history check. Rip. Yep. And mm -hmm. Eric, you get nothing, because you're from the other side. Wow. <laughs> Both of you guys. Aaron with a natural 20, and uh, Reich in general. There's no crits inside this one, other than critical hits. But, um... Right. Auto success, auto failures, right? <laughs> so uh, both of you guys would know what uh, I'm referring to. Um, effectively the same success there. Uh, referring to the Grey Wall Outpost is uh, likely what he's talking about, the illegal occupation. The Grey Wall Outpost was a, an outpost that belonged to, um, that, that technically is on the lands that is Breland, or at least was Breland's. But during the last war, a Breland army and House Deneath paid to be there and protecting it. Um, they, they fucking withstood so much but eventually Breland had to withdraw their forces because it was just too much but they still had a, a, a deal with Denith so they continued to pay money to House Denith to stay there and through conditions that would shatter probably any other army ever um, in in uh, modern day uh, Eberron the House Denith stood periods of starvation periods of famine periods of uh, almost constant siege uh, the entire time they're there, they withstood. And then when the Treaty of Thronehold was signed and peace came to pass, this now became no longer a militaristic outpost. And as a sign of good faith to um, uh, to Droam, which is now an accepted nation, uh, House, uh, sorry, the uh, Breland had already pulled back all of their forces, but now they're giving the command to House uh, Denith that they are supposed to pull back their forces. <laughs> For some reason... They they still are staying there. They're refusing to pull back from uh, the Grey Wall outpost. You don't know why. Luca doesn't know why. Kieran doesn't know why. You just know that mm -hmm. command has been given by Breland to pull back. And for some reason, over the past two years, that command has been ignored. Hmm. So with this mm. further knowledge, I would Are you going to probably... tell us the other, other bets? What are the bets? Are you going to tell oh. the other bits, Dabor? Yeah. He would rattle back everything, but okay. he knows that most of it isn't uh, of, of value. Uh, he wouldn't actually quite. mention that it's like... Scott, going... do I know what the Dark Lanterns are? Can I roll for that? He would mention Dark Lanterns because that sounded interesting. Disadvantage, Aaron. Disadvantage. 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 What? History? Disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Unfortunately, Unfortunately you don't know what Dark enough. Lanterns are. That rolled off a of 17. Uh, that too. was so That's... close to a 17. I know. Mm -mm. You do All not right. know what disadvantages. I'm sorry. Sorry, what dark lanterns are? Sorry. You don't know what disadvantages are. No. Oh well, no. That's unfortunate. Yep. Dark lanterns <laughs> are uh, are a very secret organization. The very secret. So keep yeah, going. Yeah. Um. Would you? But would... after he, I mean, after he rattles off these these things and and that one having sticking out now that he even mentioned it, um, I would say, well, I believe now we have. At least two leads, and then the thing about his dad, we should probably 
Yeah, we should uh, probably make sure that kid is safe. Uh, yeah, he's or, definitely going to die now. We should make sure that we're safe. If he starts mentioning this to his dad, and oh, his, we're fine. His dad's we'll just, a king. it will be fine. We'll kill uh, whoever comes after us. What? His dad's a king. Yeah. Who the king hell is his child? And you said his Brandon. mom's the duchess, or not? Technically, his mom. Ali, who's this kid? What's his Who name? Who did you make friends with? <laughs> uh, his name is Alex. Um, Alex, Alex, what? Reich would know who that is because he's all brushed up on political things of the neighboring country that they have most of the deals with. Kieran uh, would probably know who the fuck that was because she partook in the war. Luca knows who the fuck that is because his head's not in his ass. And Stalbor is like, what? <laughs> so Stalbor knows who he is Alex now. Is he just a... doesn't know how important it is. Is <laughs> the thing. Uh, I, refresh my memory. Who's Alex? The youngest. Who's the youngest son. Of uh, so uh, King Boromir, uh, Boromel okay, that's what I thought. of of Breland, the where you spend most of your time, the country you spend most of your time in. Um, he has eleven children, six sons and five daughters. It's his youngest son. Wait a second, he's going to tell his father. Yeah, his no. father, <laughs> King Boromel of Breland. He's going to tell no, no. his father. I that's what I'm saying. Is a you know, Listen, sort of decorative title. No, Stalbor, no. <laughs> remember when you, we, we said earlier that this is probably the best to keep this under wraps, and then you went and told the, <laughs> the youngest son of the king of Freeland, and then he said that he was going to go tell his father about that? Well, that is not exactly what I call under wraps. God, Define wraps, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm we're like... not the people best to deal with this. We had our, our, our bout fighting terrorists, and people died. I don't see why we need to be fighting these uh, dark lanterns, these gray wolves. Right. Honestly, we're doesn't... fighting anybody. It, it, we Ooh, don't know who you can trust in this. Face. I'm kind of gonna look at Luca and try to like gauge his reaction, and I'm like that, like if he if he's at all considering like maybe walking away from this or just not like interested in pursuing it. Frodo, I'm I'm interested in pursuing it completely. Okay. I'm okay. I'm I'm like the new face of my house, and I'm like, oh, if I could do face. something to bring pride. Yeah. Lowercase yeah. a face, not uppercase the face. And the, the, the biggest face. I'm gonna be frank with so you. I, no, I we have to pursue this, and we have to pursue this quickly. Like, I certainly well, hope that we do not. We need have to, to figure out how to relate to the changelings that we fought. Well, yeah, we 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 have. I get yes, but we have to deal with this. I kind of look at you guys hoping that um, Stalboard doesn't pick up on the cue. So one of the things that you would know, Luca, because you're from yep. this country, is that he does not live in Breland. He was kind of, him and his younger sister, the two youngest of the um, of the Irinarn, uh mm -hmm. family of, of Breland, were sent here as part of a uh, good faith as part of the peace treaty of Treaty of Thronehold, they were sent here to spend time with their distant relative, uh, King uh, Car. Was it uh, King Caius the Third? To spend time with his, their uncle as like a peace thing. And in exchange, King Caius the Third sent his sister uh, as an emissary back to Breland. So King Caius is the third sister's there, and his third cousin or whatever they are are uh, are here. So it's not like he can just go back to Breland and have a conversation with his dad. He's um. Here is a guest, but uh, at his father's command, so effectively a prisoner here. You know how that whole fun thing works? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's so, like when you send your kids to boarding school. So They're yeah. not technically in prison, but they fucking might as well be. So I would, I would say to Stalbar, I'd be like, wait, so just you told him that this is something you're looking into? He, just, just you? Or... Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. He told us for you. He said all no, his friends. I know. I know. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> but he's, Do you want to make a bluff day. roll? Starbuck doesn't exactly understand the question. He's like a little bit confused why you're being so aggressive right now. I mean, if he says, uh, basically, if he goes back to his dad eventually and says this dying elf made these things with paper and all dying. <laughs> I'm what? perfectly fine right he he's being he's making metaphors now. He he might just look at him look the other way and say that's nothing. But if he says there's an adventuring party of the four of us, uh, multiple houses in a 
hobgoblin of royalty doing this that might i he doesn't <laughs> know the specifics about your houses because i don't know the specifics about your houses he knows that i have people i worked with i'm sure he knows it. that i am house denise yeah, well, he knows you luca who wouldn't know you well all this is relevant as this has already happened our next step should be what we discuss here i believe that our most potent next step would be for your family looking at um uh looking at Kieran kind of with trepidation to investigate the initial lead with the woman that you said is a part of your house and then we make haste down to the um gray wall uh, gray wall fort and see if we can figure out why those soldiers are still disobeying orders perhaps if we bring a favorite of the house, a newly marked member, with a uh, a fresh uh, a fresh ring of wreck and mark. Perhaps we might be able to get some answers. I I agree wholeheartedly. If there's a way for us to bring peace, yes. I sincerely hope we do not have to travel in Droam. I would be the only one remotely welcomed. I agree that we should go check out this um this wall. And I've already sent word to my family that I'm coming for that woman. So. Oh, jeez. That sounds aggressive. <laughs> Come well, for you. I mean, if, you haven't, if you haven't picked up by now, Reg, she's quite the aggressive. I don't think we're going to find peace at the... At the um, I'm, at I don't think outpost. we're going to find peace, but perhaps we can peace. create peace. No, we're going to find changelings taking over the place. That's what we're going to find. I'm... My, my uh, bet. Teaching my name. Uh, I will deal with that. All right. That's the, it's the last Ebron campaign all over again. Everyone's being replaced. Where's a foot? Where's a good fireball when you need it? It's a oh, quick one, wrecking mark. Fireball someone. <laughs> Not it's fucked yet. up, Eric. It's fucked up. <laughs> Besides, uh, is wrecking mark the the uh, power base for um, Denise? I thought it wasn't wrecking mark. I thought it was. Uh... No, no, it was. It was. She was at wrecking mark when he fireballed them. <laughs> I thought they were in course. No, they were I'm in their fans. own. They Oi, their own state. This is a campaign Maybe. that didn't happen on stream. Yeah, mm -hmm. old references. It. It's a campaign Sorry. with Mathis, though. Mathis blowing people up. Mathis is Mathis blowing up Aaron's fiance. I mean, <laughs> Luca killed Aaron's fiance in this campaign. And now Mathis uh, horribly mangled to the point where only illusions made him uh, capable, like, don't possible you, to look at in the other campaign. Don't Aaron, dare, don't get married. Just saying, don't get married. You horrible things happen. <laughs> okay, so. Going to Grey Wall? Keep. We're going to Grey Wall. Yeah. I say we do. Funny thing, yeah. along the way between here and Grey Wall Keep, which is not an easy place to get to, um, is right. Castle uh, Arakane. Which is? Oh, that's the uh, estate of uh, King Boromel. Can we tell the child to keep his mouth shut? In the time that we're I, gone. I don't think that we should threaten the, king, the son of King Boromel. Or even... Pretend to threaten. I'm not gonna threat him. So he's gonna keep his mouth shut. No, oh, it's, it's him, better him, off that he. Okay. He's gonna get himself killed. Like, he's gonna tell the I wrong person. He's gonna get himself killed. Understand, but it's a, the cat's out of the bag, so to speak. I look at Stalbor. Like if he says it's the wrong person, he's gonna die. He needs to know that. He's a child. Do you really think that someone will entertain the fancies of a young child? That's why you say it very scarily. Like, hey, no, hey keep your fucking mouth shut. No, I cannot emphasize this enough. We do not threaten the youngest son of King Boronel, no matter what he says or does. I, I'm, yes, I agree. Why would we threaten the child? Because he needs to know he's going to get himself killed. He's in Karen. an academy where every single people, person, including the janitors, owns several swords and know how to use them. Uh, I'm the only that's... person here who isn't competent. Practice. That's oh, okay. Stalbor, you're plenty competent. I was just telling you this the other night. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you're just quiet for a moment. <coughs> Over <Yes>. dinner. <laughs> I made a dinner. lovely risotto. Right. I don't care if this little princeling from Breelin dies. I'm just letting you know, it's probably going to happen. It'll be fine. I don't understand why you're going on about this. Why don't we go to this... Grey War thing and see what magical artifact has the people of Denith going crazy about it. 
Or there could be a completely mundane reason that they'd want to stay at the border between them and a monster king. I already don't want to go, Reich. I'm trying to make it interesting. Yes. That was amazing. Mm. A magical artifact, keeping them there against their will. Mm. You know what? I'm sure there's going to be some, some magical beasts controlling that artifact as well. Ooh. It should be very interesting. Mm. Shall we? Settle up? Wait, wait now? Yes. I mean, I mean, I mean surely they right? should. You, you should stay for a night. Uh, why rush? Well, every night that we are, uh, that we delay is another night that whatever force we are fighting against, which oh, we still don't I, even know. I mean, yeah, but I, I know, want to tell what the necklace does. I know I've graduated. <laughs> I know that that's wait happened. But I already have, like, I, I get dirty looks from time to time for having a guest. That's but now me. I'm going to be having three guests? Yeah, and... The people of uh, of, I'm of, of this guess. the people of this country tolerate my kind, because we work uh, closely with Denise. Though they do not respect them, and I fear that that will prove fine. Detrimental. I just don't think that uh, people giving us the cold shoulder is going to be worthwhile. Been days Everyone on their shoulders ship. cold. Instead, here. we should ride. We grab mounts and we head our way south, east. Right. Didn't you come here on an airship? You just had a yeah. Zip back? Just no, dropped you off. Now. I had shit to do. Can, can right? I... Yeah. It's the airship, right? it's not like a taxi waiting like that guy we oh. paid. I, mean, I thought, I thought it was taxi. your airship. Okay. No. No, she doesn't have her own airship. I have an airship. <laughs> I wonder how you guys are going to get back across. Like, is, is the plan to somehow cross from Reckonmark to Thalios across the Sound Sounds? Or is sure. your Or is your plan to... Uh, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's really difficult to get over there because of the fact that the lightning rail is disrupted by the broken bridge and the Mornlands. Well, we don't have uh, a plan. There's no, there's no plan. <laughs> I say we jump on our mounts and start heading, uh, heading south. Um, Let's do that. Okay, well, if you hop on your mount and head river. south, you go south for about 50 miles and you hit a shore. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm looking at the map right now. There's can't a big old any, Cthulhu looking lake can't get in the way. Any way across that sound. It's, the it's, Scion sounds the sound are sound. very, very fast. Um, only some boats can kind of cross Jesus it. Christ. Yeah, you How guys can cross it. Gonna, it's just not easy. I'm going to try to to make a, a favor check to get passage. There you go. Okay. Because Stormholm is not very far to the north. I just want to ride my mount. Is this just a crime? I just want to ride <laughs> my fucking mount. I got the special mount that I never get to use. Aaron, you um you take a, a penalty, right? Because you've done it twice in one month, or does that start later on? Um, let me double check. I don't think it's that long. <sighs> 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 It doesn't have a time frame. Um, it's supposed to be some sort of if you do it to blah, 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 There blah. is supposed to, yeah, yeah. I thought it was written somewhere in there, but we'll worry about that later on. Either way, with your 10... Oh, that includes a 13, but that's okay. So with your 10, you're able to call in a favor, and because Stormholm is so far is uh, only so far to the north, what you guys will be able to do is um, you'll actually be able to get onto your mounts, Eric. And in the middle of the winter... Uh, you can travel uh, to the north by a handful of days, where a ship will eventually be able to, a sailing ship will eventually be able to make itself, uh, its its way over down and actually help you cross the uh, the sounds. Uh, up if you actually look at the same map that I am, um, which just to share it with everybody, the map that we're looking at here, at least the one that I'm looking at. Um, there's the purple lines there. If you guys travel um, from further north than where the purple line runs perpendicular. Um, They'll eventually be able to kind of like get you and allow you to cross, and you can eventually get onto that area. That, those purple lines are, are ma lines of like a uh, country, <sighs> not like roads. But okay, mm -hmm. so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hop on the thing and you're gonna travel north. Let me give me one second to find out exactly how far north. Uh, let's see if that's 500, four, so four, three, two, 200 miles, I think it is. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to travel 200 miles north 
to, uh, along the shore, which uh, mounted, wintertime, all that stuff is going to take a considerable amount of time for you to do so. And then eventually they'll um, they'll uh, be able to meet you with the ship and uh, bring you across the sounds. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but you are able to accomplish doing so. <laughs> Interesting thing, when you cross the sounds and come across the other side, uh, the, the storm home is able to bring you, you know, uh, almost immediately across. Um, uh, or they can bring you all the way around uh, through the, what's it called, Eldeen Bay, and just drop you off at one of the towns, like, um, uh, what is it? Authorot. Authorot. It's up to you, Aaron. Oh, sounds familiar. Authorot. Yeah. I like it. It's like all around. Let's I know that. that's the joke. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's sure. Go. So you guys are going to uh, go to uh, the city of... Like, yes, 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 yes. bring us to Authorance. That should be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Authorance is actually an Ondarian military installation guarding the western border of the nation. Uh, it guards the uh, it, uh, guards between, like, the woods and uh, where you guys are. So uh, kind of going there and being dropped off there, which is a convenient place because of the roads and everything that happened to ex actually exist nearby, mm -hmm. that head closer to where you uh, want to go... The downside is when you guys like get get uh, put off in the bay and over there, so again, a considerable amount of time passes. I would say in total, maybe a month's time passes for you guys doing this transit. Mm -hmm. How did you guys handle the boy, by the way? You just ignore him? Yeah. yeah. So, um... I'd send him a letter. When you get to, to Arthur Rons, be about this. At the, uh, at the docks there, because uh, you guys are docking, uh, one of the, the, the harbor master or whatever it is would approach you guys as you're getting off the ship, would approach the ship in general. I'm like, why are you here? Oh, we're doing transit for them. Who are them? Uh, you're going to have to talk to them. She's the one <laughs> She she's the one in charge. She uh, She's the one that asked for us to be dropped off. And they would go over to you, Karen, and the group of you mm -hmm. and be like, who are you and why are you here? Uh, Karen, Delair, and I were on our way on members of Orders of House Neath. And I will gesture to Luca. Yep, and I'll stand there pretty firmly and just nod. Orders of House Deneath to uh, dock your ship at our military uh, installation. Why? We're just passing through. They're just passing through. We have no I'm intention of staying Soldier, there. you understand the war has passed, right? Yes. And so the docks that maybe you were accustomed to uh, finding yourself in before are perhaps not quite so welcoming nowadays. Are you right. telling us that we can't dock here? I'm telling you, you've already docked, but yeah. understand this is the last time. Sure. And yeah. what's your name? Um, Gallic. Okay. Um, well. Duh. Sure. You know what? Sure. This is the last time that I'll do this. Hmm. I'll make it known. And uh, who was the captain of the ship, Kieran? Hmm? Who was the captain of the ship? Oh, uh, whoever probably owned the ship. I mean, I would take place if they wanted me to. Oh, you just, yeah, just kind of like you that guy. You want a point? All right, yeah, very like good. that guy. The guy's just like sweeping <laughs> the deck, like, oh. And the two of you, he, he <laughs> says, looking at the very strangely dressed human in the hobgoblin. You remember, you're an on dare. It's a hobgoblin. Yeah. Hired help. Ah. Do you not know of health House Deneath working with Hobgob? Like, is that news to you? Paperwork, please. <laughs> He's asking paperwork. my paperwork or Reich's? Your, your, uh, your paperwork. You and uh, Kieran's. Yeah. I'll show my paperwork. He takes notations down. I'll take out my... Uh, well, I won't take out my amulet. I'll just kind of like... Tap my chest where it's on my armor. He'll look at stretch. it, like while he's doing it, he'll like look up and see it and kind of like roll his eyes as he finishes the paperwork. That, that's fine. And then he'll be like, The two of you have been warned, and so will your house and your name. Move along. That's what we're trying to do. And so you're to They didn't seem to care about Stalbor or Reich. Yeah. Huh. That was a pleasant chap. Yeah. And so... Well, I growl something in, uh, in Goblin. I laugh as if I understood it, but I don't. 
I laughed. <laughs> he laughed right there. He laughed. It wasn't. It wasn't funny. I just. I, I, I called know. him a, a very rude name in Goblin. <laughs> So you guys uh, are able to get onto the road and start heading south. Now, you're in kind of a precarious position right now where you are um, on this map. I mean, uh, three of you PCs don't understand the implications of where you are, but Aaron, I know you do all too well. Yeah. You're technically on the border of Ondare and the Eldine Reaches. Even though the war has passed, there is still a civil war, I guess you can call it, uh, going on between these two countries. With Ondare's like, you are us and they're like nah and they're like yeah <laughs> you are us and they're like nah so yeah. so you guys are actually in a very very shitty location and you're traveling yeah. south along the side of the eldine reaches which is the side that tends to get attacked more often um that being said and um kieran knowing of this better than any of the rest of you would know of it even though she's no odette she would uh know these things because she's from storm home and knows the area and whatnot well enough mm -hmm. How would you guys want to approach the situation? Uh, what's the fastest way to get where we're going? If you keep going south, maybe you can hop on a boat and cross Lake Galifar and blah, 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 blah. Or you can say, fuck this noise, head a little bit to the east, and then rejoin regular civilization of the normal five nations as opposed to the whatever the fuck's going on in the Eldian Reaches with other nature-y shit. And um, you can go that way, which is slower unless you hop on the lightning rail. I have no problems traveling through the Eldine reaches, but I'm I'm whatever's the the swiftest. Yeah, I'm I'm also with. The I would also the push for, for the quickest path. Quickest path mm -hmm. theoretically would be the lightning rail. It moves right, significantly faster then. than you guys would. So yep. like, uh, we'll go from off 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 or whatever mm -hmm. to Fairhaven probably, mm -hmm. and then lightning rail down to where we're going. All right. Absolutely. So um uh. Do you guys spend any considerable amount of time in Fairhaven Passage or any of those? Or no, don't even worry about describing them. Let's just do the lightning rail. No. Starbo's excited about the lightning rail. Yeah, yeah lightning I have no rail. No He's business been on before. City, so. All right, well, um, we're going to... Um, I want before we take our quick break. I've already done a crap ton of expose for Eberron, so I'm actually so you can hear a different voice, a more pleasant one. Erin, why don't you describe the lightning rail to everybody, especially Stalwar, so um so we know what it's like. Okay. And not not um, from Kieran's perspective, from a fan of Eberron's perspective. From a fan of Eberron's perspective, um, so you guys know by now that airships and elementally bound galleons ships exist. Um, those are those giant like circles surrounding this bound elemental to this crystal, they propel it forward. Um, the lightning rail is the train version of that. It is run by House Orion, which was Odette's house, um, and they is a massive network of trains that run all throughout Corvair. Uh, they're very quick, and that's what we're going to be doing. Anything else, Scott? You want to add? They, they travel on non-stop 30 miles per hour, yeah. give or take, uh, depending if they're going uphill or downhill or whatever, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why don't we uh, take our break? We'll come back in uh, just a couple minutes, and we'll uh, we'll go over this. Bye. See you shortly. See you soon. <laughs> 